Welcome to Brian's CPA ASP review for CFI and Core. Today, we are going to cover revenue recognition under ASP 3400 revenue. Businesses make profits, must recognize revenue and record revenue accordingly. What is revenue? Basically, Revenue is the total amount of income generated by the sale of goods or services related to the company's operations. Revenue is the total money a business receives. Determining how revenue should be recognized is an important part of following accounting standards. How do we recognize revenue? To recognize revenue, Three criteria must be met. First criteria is performance is achieved, has the significant risks and rewards of ownership have been transferred. This occurs when the seller has no accounting managerial involvement in or effective control of the goods. Second is revenue can be measured reliably when the amount of consideration that the entity will receive in exchange for the goods or services being provided can be determined with certainty. Third, ultimate collection is reasonably assured. Collection is assured when there is little risk that the customer will not remit an agreed amount of consideration in exchange for the goods or services provided. For example, Grandma's Bakery sells various goods in the local area. It has bagels, buns, rolls, biscuits, desserts, muffins, and etc. Bon Appetit Paris wants to buy 100 baguette for the month of July. Grandma's Bakery signed a contract to sell 100 baguette for $200. The order of baguette was delivered the very next day. Bon Appetit Paris will pay for the baguette by the end of the month. Now let's consider if three criteria are met to recognize revenue. First criteria is performance is achieved, has the significant risks and rewards of ownership have been transferred. Once the baguette have been delivered to Bon Appetit Paris, they have the baguette under their possession. Any risks and rewards have fully transferred to Bon Appetit Paris, and they now have the full responsibility what they do with the baguette. In this case, the first criteria is met, performance has achieved. Next. We can consider the second criteria to recognize revenue. Revenue can be measured reliably. The 100 baguette was exchanged for $200. Each baguette is then $2. Here, the contract clearly states the amount being exchanged as consideration of item purchased. We can certainly conclude that revenue can be measured reliably in this case. Therefore, the second revenue criteria is met. We now consider the third criteria for revenue recognition. The third criteria is ultimate collection is reasonably assured. We can be assured that collection of consideration as contract states to exchange amount for 100 baguette and also its payment due date. The collection is therefore reasonably assured. The third criteria is met. Since all the criteria are met, Grandma's Bakery can recognize revenue for the sale of baguettes. For measurement of revenue, if the ultimate collection is not certain, Recognize revenue when only cash is received. Apply revenue recognition criteria separately to each transaction. For example, 
when there is multiple transactions with different situations, we must apply the three criteria to each situation. For single contract with multiple deliveries, consideration is allocated to each based on standalone selling price basis. If it is distinct, then the company needs to allocate the total contract price to each good or service based on its relative selling price. A customer purchased brand new Palisade from car dealership for $60,000 on July 31st, 2023. The dealership included the service for one year detailed cleaning in the price. The dealership sells one-year detailed cleaning service separately for $1,500. Customer paid non-refundable $10,000 down payment at the time of purchasing. Customer was able to acquire loan from bank. The dealership delivered the car to Riley's home the very next day. The performance is achieved, has the significant risks and rewards of ownership have been transferred. Customer was able to purchase the car from dealership and she has the car under her possession. The new car's legal title has passed when the key was handed over to the customer. All significant acts have been completed as she was able to sign the contract with the dealership and the loan from the bank was approved. Additionally, the dealership retains no managerial involvement once the car is sold to Riley. Therefore, the first revenue recognition criteria is met. Next revenue criteria, we must consider whether revenue can be measured reliably. We have a multiple deliveries here because not only the physical car was sold, but the service was sold as well. We must determine standalone selling price for the car and one year cleaning service. Revenue can be broken down to vehicle sale, revenue, and service revenue. Standalone sales for one year detail cleaning is $1,500 as the dealership sells cleaning service separately for $1,500. The standalone vehicle revenue is then $58,500 resulting from $60,000 minus $1,500. Because the revenue can be measured reliably by determining each of the standalone price, and allocation of revenue for customer's purchase. The second criteria revenue can be measured reliably has been met. We now consider the last revenue criteria. Ultimate collection is reasonably assured price basis. Although customer is getting finance from the bank and it could be possible that customer could default on the monthly loan payment. However, the dealership had already received the price for the car from the bank for customer's loan. The dealership can record money received from the bank as car sales revenue. Therefore, the third criteria is met. Ultimate collection is reasonably assured. Since all three revenue criteria are met, the dealership can now record revenue. In summary, the three revenue criteria must be met to recognize revenue. Performance is achieved. Revenue can be measured reliably. And ultimate collection is reasonably assured. Revenue recognition is necessary whether a company recognizes revenue or defer revenue or even don't recognize revenue at all. That's it for the lesson on the revenue recognition and I hope this information was helpful. 
and feel free to reach me if you have any questions. Have a great day.